So here's a terribly thin but cute house for just under a million dollars. It's eight hundred seventy-five thousand on Capitol Hill. It's on Independence Avenue. I always think that's a fun street name. Most of the streets in D.C., especially downtown, that are not named after, they're not letters or numbers, are named after states or Canadian provinces like Pennsylvania or Ontario or Columbia Road. But um, this one is on Independence. There are a couple streets like that, Independence and Constitution. Uh, the building in the far distance is actually the back side of Eastern Market, which is an old market. This is actually exactly at Eastern Market. And it's this very thin house. It's a stairwell and one room deep. Although it's about three rooms wide. But they're not big rooms. So here's another bathroom. It has a washer dryer. It has this nice bath, kind of redone, that has a skylight. This one somewhat larger bedroom, although it's a larger bedroom that doesn't have a. It does not have its own bathroom. There's an attic. You can see how old the wood and these stairs are. This house is probably from like 1790 to 1820 at the latest. This little nautical window onto a patio. So there's a the dining room. It does have a half bath. The dining room is really just kind of a giant foyer. It has a cellar, which is kind of new and different. Don't see a lot of cellars in DC. You're only seeing one here because it's an old enough house to actually have one. Uh, living room, fireplace, built-in bookshelves. Kitchen. Galley kitchen, but not actually narrow. Actually just a little bit wide for a galley kitchen. <laughs> a little extra storage there. Not wide enough that you could actually put a table in here anywhere. And then it has its own <laughs> teeny patio. This little nautical window again. Teeny patio. That's actually somebody else's house. They probably have their own teeny patio. This cellar is brightly lit enough and tall enough to actually stand up and see what's down here. It seems like a perfect place to put a washer dryer, frankly, but that was upstairs in the closet. Yeah, it really does seem, except for the fact that you have to do this to get down there. You practically have to sit down on the steps. So in other words, it can never be a rental. It's basically just really good storage. It's just good storage space. You can put boxes down here. Oh, it's it's a half cellar. It's a, it doesn't go all the way through. So that's where the mechanicals are. Here's some old stairs that go up to a door to the outside, actually. So I suppose you could move things in this way if you felt you had a need to. I don't know what the need would be, but... But it's conceivable somebody would. Old pine floors, original. Original restored pine floors. Anyway, that's the house.